Professor Dave and Chegg here. Esters, which are compounds with an OR group adjacent to a carbonyl, are widespread in nature as well as the laboratory. How are esters prepared and what kinds of transformations will they frequently undergo? Let's do a quick survey now. First, in terms of preparation of esters, this usually occurs from a carboxylic acid substrate in a number of ways. First, the carboxyl group can be deprotonated by strong base, and the carboxylate anion can then attack an alkyl halide. This involves retention of this oxygen from the original carboxylic acid. Otherwise, Fischer esterification is probably the most common method, where the carboxylic acid reacts in the presence of acid with an alcohol, which attacks the carbonyl and displaces the hydroxyl. Alternately, the carboxylic acid can be converted into the acid chloride, which can react with an alcohol in the presence of base to give the ester. Now let's talk about what esters can do. First, we can certainly go from the ester back to the carboxylic acid. Just as Fischer esterification involves an alcohol replacing the hydroxyl, hydrolysis of the ester allows hydroxide to replace the alkoxide. Ester hydrolysis in basic solution is called saponification, since this is how soap is made. With this, the hydroxyl attacks the carbonyl. The pi bond gets pushed up. Then the carbonyl forms again, but this time the alkoxide is pushed off. Finally, the alkoxide takes the acidic carboxyl proton, so a carboxylate will remain in solution until aqueous acidic workup. When this occurs under acidic conditions, it's a bit different. First, the carbonyl will be protonated, which makes the carbonyl carbon significantly more electrophilic. Because of this, even a water molecule can attack, generating the alcohol. Then the alkoxy oxygen will be protonated, so the carbonyl can reform and kick off the alcohol. This sort of chemistry is common in biological systems. Next, esters can be converted into amides. This can be done with ammonia or some other amine and will occur similarly to hydrolysis. Esters can also be reduced all the way to the primary alcohol. This will require a strong reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride. Again, mechanistically, this is essentially the same as base catalyzed hydrolysis. It is simply a hydride that is attacking instead of hydroxide. And then once the aldehyde is produced, Further reduction yields the primary alcohol. Esters can also be reduced to the aldehyde and stop if special reducing agents are used, like Dibol H. This must be carried out at very cold temperatures. Finally, we are also aware that esters can be converted into tertiary alcohols using Grignard reagents. Two equivalents of the Grignard reagent must be used, because one will react with the ester to produce the ketone, and then another will react with the ketone to produce the tertiary alcohol, which will have two identical alkyl groups since they came from the two equivalents of the Grignard reagent. So that's a little bit about esters, how we can prepare them, and some of the reactions they are commonly used for. Professor Dave for Check. see you next time.